In this video, I will show you how to log into your Adobe CC account, download apps, and where your files are stored in the cloud. These steps are perfect if you're logging in for the first time ever, or perhaps the first time on a new or different device. I'm working on a Mac, but the steps are very much the same on a PC. So first thing we're going to do is go online to adobe.com. And once you're there, in the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna see where it says, sign in, click on that. And then you'll enter the information associated with your account. In my case, it's my school email, click continue. And some people have personal accounts and a company or school account, but most people watching this will probably only have a company or school account. So you'll click on that. Next, you're going to again enter in your information associated with this account, your username or email, and then the password and sign in. We'll click open under the creative cloud and that will take us to the home page. Once on the home page, I can check to see what account I'm on and I see that it says Adobe for Enterprise, which is the team account, so I'm in the right place. I also highly suggest installing the Creative Cloud app as a shortcut to your apps and files. If you see this icon that looks like an infinity symbol, that means your company or school computer already has it downloaded. Now Adobe likes to keep things fresh, so things might be slightly different depending on when you're watching this video. Working left to right on this screen, we're going to click on the Apps tab, and this will bring you to all of the applications that you can download from your Creative Cloud. This is the exact same screen that you get if you click on that CC shortcut, so you can see that it's helpful in jumping you right here. But for those of you who don't have it, I'll switch back to this screen. It's pretty much the same, and this screen's bigger anyway. On the left-hand side, they've separated the apps into categories for easier navigation. And again, this is where you will install and keep up to date the apps that you've downloaded to your desktop or your laptop. The number of apps that are available to you depends on your account, and the number of apps that you can download depends on the available storage on your device. If you're working on a MacBook Air, for example, you may only have room to download one app at a time. On a Chromebook, you can't download the desktop apps, so instead you'll click over to the mobile and the web-based apps, which you can also use on cell phones and tablets. The next tab over, which says Learn, has a lot of helpful tutorials for learning how to use all of these apps. And the final tab link goes to your work, and this is work that's been synced or saved to the cloud. Mine are all organized into folders, which I highly suggest you do. I can also change the view from list to tiles. Over on the left-hand side, going from top to bottom, we have libraries. This is a great place for designers to store brushes and such. Next, you have anything that you have published and then things that have been shared with you. You can see I don't have anything there. And all of the things that have been deleted. The items you delete from your files aren't permanently deleted until you come here and then click to check which ones you would like to delete. And then once you have selected the things to delete, you come up to where you see in the right-hand side, permanently delete and then delete permanently. This will free up some storage on your cloud. So remember to come back and permanently delete. And the amount of storage you have is based on your account type. Going back to my files, let's say that I want to open my Film Noir Photoshop document. My inclination is to double click and assume that Photoshop will load, but that's not the case. Now I could come up over here to these three little dots and I could download it and then open it, but that's not necessary. Instead, I can go back to my apps and I can find Photoshop. Once it's installed, that would switch from install to open. I can also go to the shortcut and open it here. Or 99% of the time, I just search typing in Photoshop, trying to spell it correctly, and I choose the latest updated version and open it that way. It may take a while to launch, especially the first time. 
and I'm logged into multiple computers. So it's telling me I have to sign out of one computer to be able to sign into this one. So I'll do that and click continue. I can only be signed into two computers at a time. Then I will click on open and it shows me some files that are synced to the cloud already. And I can change the view, either a list or an icon view. I want to look at files that I've put onto the cloud. And since I have that shortcut, it will bring up my creative cloud files for me. And then I can go through and locate that film noir PSD document and click open. I'll make a quick change to the document. So perhaps I will just use the crop tool and crop it in a tiny little bit so that you can see the next steps. Once I accept that, I'll now want to save it. So I can just file save and it automatically will save to that cloud because that's where I pulled this file from. Or I can file save as. Here it's giving me the choice. I can save it to my computer or back to the cloud documents. I want to save it back to the cloud documents and then click save. I can see up on the shortcut that two little blue arrows have been added to the Creative Cloud icon, and that's telling me that it's syncing. I like to see that that syncing goes through before I shut down my computer. And that is how you log into your Adobe CC account, download the apps, and work with files stored in the cloud.